what you want to do now is read the question. So, question, given the front and top views of two solids, so that's what they've given you, the front and top view, okay? Then line segment marked AB, so line segment marked AB, that's from on the front view, and then over here A1, B1, that's what it looks like from the top. Now what you got to go do is use the given views and determine the true length of line segment AB and true inclination of line segment AB. So if I say true length, that means I'm writing it in millimeters. Okay, so I'm measuring what the true length would look like and what it would measure in millimeters. So is the scale always one to one? Right, and then over here, true inclination. What does that mean? That means I'm looking for degrees. Okay, so I'm looking at the angle that that specific line is at, the true angle. So in true inclination, true angle. Okay, so now how to do this is you start with your two set squares. Okay, so you got your two set squares. You set one of your set squares onto that line, line AB. Okay, you take your other one, put it behind, hold that one down. Okay, so let's do that. Hold that one down. Then you can move it like that to the side so that you can draw a parallel line. And I label that X1, Y1. Okay, so now I've got my X, Y line. But now I need 90 degree lines running from A that way and B that way. Okay, how do I do that? Same thing. Set your one set square to line A, B. Hold that one down. And then move it this way. Okay. Then you hold the top one down. You put the other one on top of that. that and you draw a line come down like this and draw a line now it's 90 degrees okay again we put this set square on line AB. This set square we put behind it and we hold it in place, right? Then we move this one up. Okay, so that it is a little bit further away from line AB, okay? Then, yeah, it doesn't matter how far, just so that it... Then you hold that one down that you just moved. And you take the other one on and you put it on top of that one to be able to draw that line in. Okay, so now we have those 90 degree lines. Now what we want to do is take our compass. Okay, our compass, we're going to set to, um, so now we're going to be setting it from A, so we put the metal point, we put the metal point here on, a1 mm -hmm. and we measure it down to the XY line there okay so now I measured A to the XY so I go to A at the top here we put the metal point on the XY and we mark off over there and we label that A2 okay A2 okay now we're going to measure metal point on B1 and measure to XY line yeah then we go metal point on B, so the XY line, and we mark off over there, we label that B2. 
Okay? And then we go and link those two lines. Okay, now we've linked those two lines. And then again, we take this and we put it on that XY line. Take the other one, put it behind, hold it down, and we move it so that it is on point A2. And then we draw a line down like that. So now we have that. You see that's an angle. Okay, so that is, let's call it... Let's call it B, big B. Okay, now what we do is go and measure. We're going to measure the darker line. So this line over here, okay. And we get 58, or is it 60? Okay, mine says 60. Okay, so then we come to here. It says answer. So you go right down there. A2, B2. So A2, B2 is equal to 60 millimeters okay but now we want to go get the true inclination so that is a angle okay so then we need our protractor okay and we go and measure that and it gives me 10 Okay, so then we go and write there B is equal to 10 degrees. Okay, and that's how you do descriptive geometry.